all right everyone matt again with the week something training thing oh it's a bit messed up we didn't have a train session last weekend because of the agm manchester baseball club but i'm now back here in actual sunny manchester it's really warm i don't know what's happened there's a bit of that blue stuff in the sky it looks weird it is sunday the 6th of march also known as derby day not every year because i don't know how football fixtures work manchester united versus manchester city in that other sport hoping to get some more uh, footage from the players and, and staff here at manchester baseball club looking for the answer to the question what makes a good teammate or how can you be a great teammate and if you have any ideas and suggestions you know what to do just let me know in those little comments let's uh, have a discussion about it so for me personally cratch up for the last two weeks i've done exactly nothing it comes down to exercising and looking after myself apart from having a, a nice shave at the barbers uh, little one's been ill for a couple of days so i've been taking care of him been doing lots of cuddling and lots of watching cbb's house which is always great there's another thing what's your favorite cbb's show i had a discussion ages ago on twitter about if you could make a baseball starting nine out of cbb's characters and that was a lot of good fun i might resurrect that one again and see if my opinions have changed with the influx of new shows so yeah i've done literally no exercise i feel really grim i feel really stodgy the bread thing is really getting to me now i've not eaten bread but i've had pizza i've had a pizza for my dinner as well uh i had a microwave pizza with some bachelor super noodles and i feel grim i think the only reason why i'm not crying right now is because i didn't put the super noodles on top of the microwave pizza i think that would have been end game and a bag of crisps as well i thought to myself how can i make myself feel better if I'm, i'll have some fruit so in the car on the way down i've had a banana and an apple and now i feel amazing because i'm about to go and do some physical activity with a full stomach again so this could be really short-lived <laughs> but i really need a good training session today I, i'm absolutely shattered i need this to perk me up and to have a good deal like my head's not in it i went out last night i got in it about one o'clock this morning the new batman movie is amazing but it's three hours long and we started the movie at nine o'clock and by the time i left the cinema and got home it was just like oh no this is bad then with little and being ill I was up at something past six this morning so i'm feeling great i could probably get hit in the face by a ball today and i don't think i'd feel it should be interesting All right here we go Mark, what do you think makes a good teammate? I think, uh, first and foremost, positivity. I think baseball, like any sport, is a game that has a lot of failures in it, and you need someone who, when you make them failures, can pick you up, and when you make the right moves, can, uh, can make you feel good about those, uh, and I think that's really important. Um, I think as well, just effort. I think the best teammates are the ones that show up to training, put the effort in, um, and you know that they've got you back, uh, sort of in training sessions, on the field, etc, etc. Uh, and then understanding as well, because we're all at different levels, we all play at different levels, we have different skill sets, so no one's going to be amazing at everything, and the best teammates are the ones who know that, and know how to help you with what you're not so great at, but at the same point can sort of understand how to work you through the, the harder times as well. So for me, those three points. Really a good teammate, probably just having a really good presence, whether that's in training, on the field, just giving it their all. Might not be the best player or whatever, but the attitude is there and they'll back you up every time and lift you out of your funk, which I'm in a lot of the time out there in centre field. I think what makes a great teammate is someone who can communicate, provide a really positive energy and a lot of enthusiasm when it comes to what we want to achieve as an overall team. So someone who's got a collective goal and objective in mind that's similar to what you want to achieve. Um, beyond that, someone who's got any kind of experience that they can feed back to you in terms of their ability to see the things that you can improve on. Um, so someone who's got basically a second set of eyes that you can't physically see. So someone who you can go to for support and for encouragement 
towards yourself as an individual and as a team getting better. Great teammate for me, two main things. One, he puts the effort in. Don't mind if they make mistakes, I don't know if they're not very good, I just need to put the effort in. And second, and perhaps most important, one that supports you, the rest of your teammates. It doesn't get on anyone's back when they make a mistake, because we all do, we've all got one coming. So that's it for me really. What a fun session that was, I'm glad I did that today. It's quite quite hard to get into the swing of it to start with, and I find it quite funny that today's question of what makes a great teammate, I think I found a lot of that today. Getting in there, not feeling the best, feeling, as I said before, really lethargic and tired and, and sluggish. Just had a nice warm up catch with Will. And just having a chat, and just throwing a bit of fun and it just seemed to ease me into it and without even trying you just made a world of difference cheers will for me i think what makes a great teammate is someone who sets a really good example and trains hard works hard someone that stays positive even when it's a negative situation and gives encouragement to others it's a bit john scenery but you know they have that never give up attitude just has a really good overall energy about trying just just makes people feel good even when it's not a good situation so thank you to everyone that, that took part again thanks again for tuning in i'll see you all next week take it easy